Okay, uh, it seems like um, about the time to uh, to start. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Um, good uh, morning, UK. Good afternoon. Good evening, Tokyo. Um, I'm Yoko Rihara at uh, AK. Uh, thanks for having me today. I'd like to start my presentation here. Uh, before getting to what we do, uh, I would like to share a little bit of uh, myself. My name is Yoko Rihara. I'm the co-founder and chief sustainability officer of ARC, um, the uh, one third of the company, uh, born, born and raised in Japan and based in the UK at the moment. I started my career at Dentsu as a producer and a strategy consultant. Uh, after that, uh, I joined Kuru, which is a Japanese e uh, digital transformation integrator for sustainability and uh, led uh, some of um, EX uh, data projects uh, in Japan and UK. Then I uh, started up a company uh, back in uh, uh, December last year. So as an um, executive summary, uh, again, uh, we are a decentralized small scale agriculture hardware maker uh, from Japan, co-founded in 2020. At the moment, uh, as a current status, we closed our seed round raising one, roughly 1 million USD in summer of 2021, uh, which was a few months ago, uh, and uh, testing out our prototype two, and then prototype three will be ready by the end of November. We opened our office uh, in July in UK, London to seek opportunities in EMEA. And then uh, we are running our second seed round. Okay. Uh, and once again, uh, we founded in December, 2020 and uh, we have um, we registered in, uh, in Tokyo, but our R&D center uh, is located in uh, uh, Shonan Kanagawa. R&D Center um, has been located in Shonan, Japan, and this is the co-founders, uh, three, of, three of us, and uh, uh, including Prototype 1 at our Shon uh, studio, studio in, in, Tokyo, uh, in uh, Shonan. Um, uh, Koyo is our CEO. He's dealing with uh, design and, and productions. He has an uh, engineering background in software engineering, engineering and uh, also hardware engineering. He, so he really is a um, uh, full-scale, full-stack engineer. Uh, Isamu, uh, he's our chief aqua um, officer. Uh, obviously, we deal a lot of uh, a lot of water, so um, he deals with deals with R and D and ecology for the uh, uh, juveniles and the uh, seafood that we uh, grow. Uh, myself, Yoko Rihara, is the chief sustainability officer, dealing with the ecosystem and uh, sales. So uh, that's why I'm here uh, speaking about our company here today. Okay. Our mission is to decentralize the aquaculture. Uh, if I say decentralize, uh, it might sound like uh, we are denying the centralized system, but uh, it, it's actually opposite. We respect the centralized uh, system. But the thing is, uh, once, you know, uh, probably most of the people uh, um, reckon that uh, once situation like COVID happened and the um, big uh, supply chain, once um, expanded uh, supply chain stops at somewhere, the whole system stops. So that's why I think uh, we need to uh, balance out uh, some of the, some part of the supply chain into a decentralized model, uh, especially in food uh, and energy supply chain. So that's where we uh, started our conversation when we start our company. Uh, these are the issues that we reckon. Uh, one is the protein crisis and the other one is the sustainability crisis. I'm not going to get into deep here, but uh, these are the cri two cri crises that we are, we've been facing and we will be facing deeply in near future. But these issues uh, are very uh, hard to balance out. So uh, that's where we started to our um, product. Uh, then we value ourselves to design and deliver a sustainable aquaculture solution that can be deployed anywhere and operated by anybody, uh, which uh, where we concluded to uh, design and produce our original uh, closed recirculating aquaculture system, uh, which is called CRAS in our field. Uh, there are three reasons why we ended up with um, uh, designing our own things. Um, uh, one is the feeding. Uh, so 
we understand that uh, to solve protein crisis, we need more uh, proteins from animals. But uh, if you compare uh, livestock to seafood, we have a, lot, a way better um, FCL, the conversion ratio, uh, compared to livestock. Uh, seafood has almost um, sort of like one, one on one uh, ratio to get uh, a, a protein out of um, feeding. So obviously, if we are asking for more uh, proteins, then seafood should be the one uh, or the primal uh, alternatives uh, to uh, livestock. The other one is the production. So um, due to the global warming and uh, TAC regulations, I think the, uh, the, the growth of the capture, capturing fish uh, has been almost uh, flat since 1990. And um, that's why uh, as an alternative uh, aquaculture uh, offshore, onshore, uh, aquaculture is very uh, important now. But uh, you know, um, as you all know, 70% of the earth is, uh, is the ocean. But uh, in fact, uh, only a few percent uh, is um, eligible for um, aquaculture. Uh, but once you started it and using it, uh, after two, three years, it will start um, um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, bad effects to the ocean. Uh, so that um, there is no way to expand that uh, solution. So that's where the land-based aquaculture has been uh, um, uh, focused. Uh, by the society at the moment. Uh, the other one is the water. So uh, even if we, uh, so we, we are positioning ourselves to the land-based aquaculture. This is aquaculture, but actually in fact, um, there, are, there will be a, a less water usage uh, to grow uh, fish and shrimp shrimps with our system compared to other livestock. Uh, the reason why it can, um, we can make it happen is uh, once again, this is a closed, closed recirculating model. So we use the same water, uh, recirculating it in, in, inside of our system. So these are the three reasons why we uh, concluded it to uh, design our uh, CROS uh, and produce it by ourselves. So this is our uh, product. Uh, this is a prototype three of ARC. Uh, there are three uh, major points uh, or uh, identities uh, where we define our product. Uh, the a major point is uh, is really really uh, the size of the uh, the package. It's very small. How small? It's nine point nine nine square meter. Uh, it's almost the size of um, um, a park parking uh, parking lot for a car, a sedan car. So the minimum uh, space we require is very small. So that everybody uh, once we get the stable uh, land, then basically we just use a truck to bring it and start uh, the uh, land-based aquaculture right away. Uh, the second point is the small operation. So uh, we actually teamed up um, from the uh, previous job where we um, have a space, uh, expertise in IoT. So uh, everything, uh, now, now we are living in a 21st century, everything should be uh, less people um, dedication. So if, especially in these like new fields, we should not ask people to, to have more uh, effort and money to pay uh, to run the system. So uh, we uh, embed, embedded automated feeding system, uh, integrated pump and heating controller, and also the sensors to uh, uh, monitor remotely. Uh, so those are uh, in the same package and embedded already. So uh, there are less human involvement into the system to grow uh, fish and uh, shrimps. Last but not least, zero emission. So obviously, you know, this is uh, COP26. Uh, our dedication is uh, where uh, zero emission is and the uh, net zero. So it works off grid without any uh, external uh, power supply up to 24 hours. Uh, why this make happen is because of the embedded uh, solar panels, uh, wind turbines and uh, water heater uh, on the roof. Also the uh, lithium ion battery has been embedded uh, back of the system, uh, which we got uh, from uh, refurbished uh, EV uh, battery. Uh, combine these together, uh, these are, uh, we, we made up our original container and uh, up to pro prototype three at the moment. So our prototype two is up and running in our studio in Japan. Uh, we are growing 3,000 shrimps at the moment. They're growing pretty well. and now three units have been contracted and uh, will be delivered uh, this autumn. 
for POC uses as our clients' facilities. Uh, there are some comparisons. I, I know we have a various uh, audience today, so I'm not going to get into deep here. But um, once again, uh, we, we talk about uh, land-based aquaculture. There are people uh, dedicating themselves into the centralized system, and we, uh, uh, um, we are with them. We're not denying any part of it. We would like to collaborate with them, uh, which really is accelerating um, uh, our acceleration point at the moment. Uh, but uh, uh, basically, the, the point here is if we can make it smaller, the risk will be lower and the capex opex will be, will be lower uh, compared to the centralized model. But uh, most importantly, we like to make it as a, a hardware software platform. Uh, so in the production, at the moment for the centralized system, uh, you're talking about like uh, building up a very big factory, uh, which is one off. So every time you uh, um, think about land-based agriculture, you have to uh, start from scratch. But uh, our, our approach really is to make it, uh, mass, make it into a mass production in the manufacturing process so uh, that we have um, mass production uh, capability uh, that will, uh, in the end of the day, that will make the cost re re reduced into that model so that we have uh, a lower cost to operate, the fit, uh, operate, uh, operate everything. Uh, so that'll uh, make more uh, profits to the um, uh, fish farmers with our uh, CRAS system. Uh, along with the hardware, we also offer our monthly subscri subscription services for, uh, for the fish farmers, uh, including the essential materials for farming, uh, juveniles, water, and feeding, all, along with the application and platform for remote operation. So uh, once again, um, IoT sensors has been embedded and uh, which connected to the cloud platform. So if something happens, it sends out a lot to your smartphones so that you can uh, deal with it uh, before uh, things get messed up. So um, that's uh, we that's uh, what we de uh, deliver, uh, what we uh, offer in our service. Our first target uh, market is uh, sh uh, white leg shrimps. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, growing 3,000 vanamese and once again, uh, but this is not, uh, our system is not dedicated to uh, prawns exclusively. Uh, we have tested other fish. fish. Uh, in fact, we uh, started our system. Uh, we, our our te first test was actually done by uh, fish and uh, we confirmed that uh, it can grow uh, uh, fish also. And we are at the moment, at the moment, we're testing out uh, seaweed also. So this system really is dedicated to uh, prone shrimp, uh, sorry, prone uh, seaweed and also um, uh, fish. But uh, uh, it's just uh, in terms of uh, making profit uh, profitable in a short term, uh, that'll bring uh, uh, less uh, risk to the fish farmers. We uh, uh, we are focusing on. Um, Barame white leg uh, shrimps at the moment. Uh, for use cases, uh, we have eight use case cases at the moment, uh, but we actually really started uh, to support uh, fishermen uh, in, in the ports because, you know, obviously with uh, global warming and TOC, TAC regulations, now a lot of, um, uh, it's a global uh, issues uh, for the fisher, fishermen, like uh, uh, not the big, big scale uh, fishermen, like uh, small scale family size uh, fishermen, they have a problem uh, getting out to the ocean to get the fish. So um, I, we thought um, uh, land-based uh, sort of like a static uh, income that we, they can create uh, in uh, on land would be nice to have. Uh, but uh, what, when we uh, tested out and uh, we've been showing our prototype uh, two and three to our customers, potential customers. Now we have these uh, use cases happen. Uh, now uh, we have a conversation happening in these fields uh, with uh, some clients. And uh, just a quick business model here. Uh, once again, we have a one-off business for hardware and also the monthly business for uh, uh, software and uh, uh, platform with the essentials for uh, fish farming. But really, our goal is to uh, have uh, our customer success um, in a longer term, uh, which should be stable. Uh, so that's our goal. And uh, our, it's very important. Uh, our success is our, uh, the, our, the, our customer's success is really our, uh, our, our success as a company as a whole. Uh, 
So initial collaboration that we just uh, disclosed last week, uh, we are going to collaborate with uh, East Japan Rail Company. Uh, we will be uh, uh, having a POC, a proof of concept with them uh, in uh, Tohoku area of Japan uh, this coming year. Uh, we are really excited to work with them. But uh, it seems like a little bit um, uh, confusing to work together with a railway company, but obviously uh, in other way around, they can be called a big uh, um, a real estate player and they have they have a lot of assets um, inside of their um, business. So we will be leveraging their assets, um, mainly uh, land uh, real estate assets to uh, use them for uh, land-based uh, aquaculture. This is the last slide, uh, I promise. Uh, the reason why we started our company, uh, one is the blue revolution for the Great, great Reset. We are a uh, grown up, decent grown up uh, three people. Um, and uh, we kind of like decided to dedicate ourselves to a uh, great reset in uh, Blue Revolution uh, for our children. And the second uh, promise is the balanced triple bottom line in land based agriculture. So, uh, you know, and right in Glasgow now, people are discussing about um, uh, standardization of uh, environment uh, parameters for businesses. Um, so if you are getting to a new business, uh, which really is dedicating to sustainability, then I think uh, trip on bottom line, including profit, planet, and people are very important. So those are our parameter to run our new business. And we would like to dedicate ourselves into the balanced uh, uh, trip on bottom line. Uh, last but not least, uh, awakening of Japanese blue and green tech uh, in global market is very, very important for us. Uh, so there, there are great companies uh, from Japan, including Toyota, uh, Makita, Kubota. Uh, these players um, have been um, uh, uh, distributing their great hardware uh, into the market development countries, uh, which will create, it, create a new business there. Uh, that's really, uh, we respect that and we would like to be one of those in the near future. I know we're just a uh, uh, small start at a startup at the moment, but that's our, where our goal is. Um, it was a quick run, but uh, that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much for having me today. And if there's any questions or uh, any potential collaborations, if you can think of, uh, there are hello hello at uh, Arcing, uh email domain at the moment. So please uh, shoot an email to me or I will be um, around for a few minutes after the conversation, after my presentation today, uh, nearby to our uh, booth, I mean, virtual booth. So uh, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you.